Hey folks, Phil the Bee Man here. I thought uh, today's a maintenance day on the extractor, so I thought I'd show you a couple things. Uh, some of these are upgrades, some of these are um, maybe makeshift uh, on my Cowan air driven uh, extracting line. Starts with the end capper, works back through the conveyor and then to the reel. This is where the frames would sit and I'll do a video when this is up and operating in a week or two. But uh, that spins around and they hold 60 frames. Uh, this will probably mostly of interest to the uh, people who have a similar machine but some of it will be relevant to any extractor. First of all I always put remote greasing on my bearings and uh, so how you do that you remove the grease nipple and for this one I actually uh, drilled out to slightly larger and then re-threaded and added a fitting for the brake line tube and that goes to a little aluminum block which I then put a thread on both sides, put the grease nipple on one side, bolt the block to the extractor, and then into the line. And that gives you uh, a chance to, to grease without getting into the machine too much. I'll do that also on the motor side where there's three uh, grease nipples to, to grease. I've only got the first one installed here so far. Um, but eventually there'll be three lines coming from that motor. Another upgrade I'm doing right now is I'm putting a full washdown motor on the machine. The uh, motor this machine came with was an open uh, motor, probably cooled a little bit better. But uh, we were always a little bit nervous about washing down with the pressure washer in here and it got a little dirty over the years so I thought time to make that upgrade. Uh, another uh, thing I've done on this machine is these, uh, this is the unloading racks. Uh, this is where this is actually a sliding rack. Uh, but there's little ball bearings that go on here to hold the actual rack that the frames go on and those things Never really worked all that great and usually just metal on metal So I replaced the ball bearings with a piece of high-density plastic You know and they slide back and forth really nice and my workers quite improved by that a couple other tricks I like the extractor to sit just a little bit higher than maybe it's manufacturer intended so I made blocks, and these look like wooden blocks, but it's actually uh, composite deck material which does pass a food safety audit. So if you're looking to, because it doesn't, uh, it's not porous, and so if you need a little blocking, need a little bit of make a pallet or something for your honey operation, that composite decking is a pretty good material to use. And I've got it in a few different places here. Uh, oh, last one. Not very fancy, but a rear view mirror from a West Coast mirror style uh, truck so that the in-capper operator can see the back side of the machine while they're operating. And then we just added this foam here so as anyone who leans in to work doesn't conk their head on that too much. Not, and that's not very fancy, but it saves a few steps. Installed a, uh, a shutoff for uh, in reach of the person operating the middle of the extracting line. So if the extractor or the end capper jams, they can shut things down real quick. And I'll do a video on this whole setup once she's up and running. Um, oh yeah, one more. I installed this little plate here. Uh, this is the motor for the auger, pretty st standard design for Cowan. And they have the, I always found I had lots of wax and debris getting in the vents of the motor. And so just this little plate, 
a bar across, uh, bolted this on here, bolted that stainless plate above, and then all the debris is caught by there and it doesn't get in the engine. It doesn't appear to affect the cooling at all. I've got lots of washing and fixing to do yet. Another open motor. Uh, I should probably replace that one. This actually has a shield on it once we're running. Um, but yeah, it might be worthwhile replacing it. There's a lot of hours on this motor. It's amazing how it'll last. But it might be time for that baby to go. Okay, I think that's it for tricks today. So uh, I think the big one I wanted to show you was the remote greasing. That's how we sold as a huge upgrade on these extractors and it's really about 10 minutes work with a tap and die to uh, be able to install that yourself. All right, thanks a lot everyone. Have a great day.